In this presentation, we're going to look at how to do a bank account reconciliation in Microsoft Dynamics NAV. So let's go to Financial Management, Cash Management, Bank Account Reconciliation and create a new. We select the bank account first and we enter the statement date. We leave the balance last statement and we put the statement ending date. So let's say the first entry we see in our reconciliation is $200. So we select it in the line. Let's say the second entry we see is minus $102, but we couldn't find it. So we leave it. We, we put just a statement amount. The third entry is minus 203 and uh, it's composed of two entries in our uh, ledger. And now we have some bank charges that haven't been inputted. So we put the date, what it is about, and let's put some uh, bank fees as well. So this one, we come back to the one we couldn't find before, 102, and we have fewer entries, so it might be easier. So let's say this one, 80. We still have a balance here of 4, and that's this one. So by coming back, we could, we found what it was. So now let's transfer the two entries that were not uh, registered in uh, nav. Go back to the general journal. We find them. Okay, we could use a balancing account, but here what I'm going to do, I'm going to create just to insert a new line to make it easier to put some uh, VAT GST on it. So I select the uh, bank charges account. Still ten dollars, but with some GST. So general posting type, so GST business posting group and GST product posting group will calculate the GST for me. Okay, so now we see we've got some GST and we do the same for the bank fee. Oops, that's not the right account, so let's put the correct account. Okay, so now that is, this is done, we can post these two new entries that we, that were on the bank statement, but were not in our uh, general ledger entries and bank entries. So we come back after that on the state, on the bank account reconciliation. Okay. And now we can apply the ten dollars of bank charges. Here they are. Okay. And we do the same for the thirty dollars. Right. So we should be good. You can see that there is no difference. The total balance is equal to the statement ending balance. So now we can post. If you had some differences, some things that you couldn't find, so you could uh, put that as a difference or enter uh, a general line in the um, suspense account. 
to print the statement I could have done a post and print directly or as I show you here you can go to the bank account statement find it and uh, reprint it okay there is another way of doing the bank reconciliation which I don't think is the best way but I still show you how to so let's say instead of uh, starting from the bank statement we could ask NAV to populate what's in the system so here we should uh, on the standard we would have put the uh, starting date very early date to take in anything into account ending date being the statement date and so you review what if you don't find some line by line if you don't find it in your statement you delete it all right so what you do, you do it in reverse starting from what nav has and if you don't have the same the the line in your statement you delete it and at the end you should go and have the same uh, ending balance